So if somebody asked me, do you think Art Bryles should ever coach again, right? I, I believe in second chances, and I believe in not judging people by their worst decision. And you can put Kimberly on the screen, too, because I want to hear her reaction, and Stephen A. as well. Um, but this isn't second chances. This is third chances, and this is fourth chances. So he oversaw this program, and he did not take it seriously enough when we're talking about multiple incidents of domestic violence and sexual abuse. That's his responsibility. So if I can't trust you to care about young women, why should I believe that you can lead young men? So no. I yeah, I, I, I think that anyone who's, who's tried to hire our brows or talked about doing it has probably believed that, uh, look, that there's going to be immediately a lot of, uh, a lot of heat and, and a lot of negative uh, attention that, that comes with doing that. And I, I'm sure Grambling is assuming that, uh, that that will come and then that will pass and then, and then people will, uh, you know, go back to focusing on, on other things. And so I, I'll be curious to see kind of what the, the news cycle is on, on this deal. And, uh, you know, certainly we've talked about this before on the, you know, when, when this went down over the summer, but I, th I think you have to, you know, if you read the actual NCAA report, certainly the word you would not use on that was exonerated. So, um, so, so I'm all about second chances. Like the young lady said. But these are only seven chances that show not only inst institutional lack of control, but basically not giving a crap. These are seven text messages from Coach Bryles. And some of them are small offenses, but they show a pattern. October 8, 2011, a freshman de tackle was cited for illegal consumption of alcohol. It's college campus. Just want to see that, right? Coach Bryles sent a text message to assistant coach. Hopefully, he's under radar enough they won't recognize the name. Did he get a ticket from Baylor Police or Waco? Try to keep him away from our judicial affair folks. He'd know it's illegal. He doesn't want to have it pop up to judicial affairs. February 11, 2013, assistant coach notified Coach Browns of a claim by a female student athlete that a football player brandished a gun at her. Coach Browns responded, what a fool. Is she reporting to authorities? Assistant coach texts back, she's acting traumatized, trying to talk calm, trying to talk her calm now. Doesn't seem want to report though. Coach Browns text, you gonna talk to the player? Assistant coach concluded, yes, sir, I just did. Call him on the way to class. Squeezed him pretty good. The matter was never reported to judicial affairs. September 13, 2013. Schilling Law sent a text to Coach Browse about a player who got a massage and supposedly exposed himself and asked for favors. Basically, happy ending. She, the masseuse, had a lawyer but wants us to handle with discipline and counseling. Coach Browse's first response was, what kind of discipline? Is she a stripper? Well, Schilling Law said, the player made the request at a salon and a spa while getting a massage. Coach Browse said, oh, not quite as bad. September 20th, 2013, seven days later, a player was arrested for assault and threatening to kill a non-athlete, a football operations staff official tried to talk the victim out of pressing criminal charges. Meanwhile, Coach Browse text athletic director, I am a call, just talked to the player. He said, Waco PD was there, said they're going to keep it quiet. Wasn't a, wasn't a setup deal. I'll get Shield to check on Sibley, the local attorney. Athletics director, I am a call, replied, that would be great if they kept it quiet. Next month, in October, Shilling Law and Browse disguised her efforts to intervene on behalf of a player who was suspended for repeated drug violations. Bottom line, he has to meet with Vice President for Student Life, Kevin Jackson, tomorrow. If Jackson does not reinstate him, the President will. Yeah. May of 2014, Coach Bravo learned from assistant coach that a player had been caught selling drugs. He tested. I'm hoping it will take care of itself. If not, we can discuss the best way to move on it. 
The offense was never reported through judicial affairs, and Coach Browse arranged for the player to transfer to another school. Assistant coach texts him, Hang, him hanging around Waco scares me. Another school would take him. They know the baggage. In August 15, 2015, after the player was arrested for possession of marijuana, Coach Browse texts assistant coach, Shit, how about that? He's going to be in the system now. Let me know what you think we should do. I can get Shield to call Sibley or we can. Do we know who complained? Assistant coach rep- responded, <laughs> Complainant was a superintendent at the player's apartment complex. Coach Brown responded, we need to know who the supervisor is and get him to alert us first. <sighs> this is who Gramblin hired. On the field, there was never any doubt. Coach Browns could be more qualified than Hugh Jackson. This is who you hired off the field. And before you non-texting people, I know Grambling alum, and I know many people hate me. I don't care. If you're from Texas, you know this shit goes back to his high school days. Art Riles was fired because? Because he runs a, he ran a corrupt program. A program that where he did not care what went off, what went on off the field. That's just art. That goes back to it was the same way at Stephenville High School in the nineties, where where he had a dynasty at a what ninety miles west of Fort Worth ranching community, and uh, Art brought wide open football, spread offense. To Texas high school football like no one had ever brought it before. Four state championships. But even in those days, even in those days, and still today, there will be high school coaches who will say steroids, illegal recruiting. How did all those good players get to a ranching town 90 miles from Fort Worth? Uh, they, they're, the rumors still persist there. Whether they're true or not, some of it may be jealousy. Some not, but at Baylor. I mean, the whole thing just follows Art to Baylor. Now, the NCAA investigation clear Browse and staff for any NCAA violations, but in a summary statement, it condoned Browse's actions, saying he failed to meet even the most basic expectations on how a person should react to the kind of conduct at issue. Grambling's push to hire Browse comes at a time when the UL system is doubling down, requiring employees to report accusations of sexual misconduct in a timely matter. Manner. Same thing. How the board views Browse's history of Baylor in the context of his current mission to determine whether he's calling plays for the Tigers this fall. <laughs> Certainly, when there is a tie profile hire, there's going to be additional scrutiny at the system level, UL System President Jim Hens Innocent said Friday without mentioning Browse specifically. <sighs> Ramblin State's hire of Art Browse is a fresh thing for college sports. <laughs> His first mission is to earn back trust. But the problem is, people, this could be the only out Ramblin has. We've seen Coach Jackson come out here and speak. We've seen our Browns come out and speak. We've heard from Coach Williams. A lot of folks will take that as you may. But this will be an out. The out is basically the UL system board. Because what's going on at LSU, they may not allow Grambling to hire Art Browse. Which means Grambling will get it out. The deeper you dig on this stuff, people, 
the scarier it becomes. But, seriously folks, this stuff is not new. This is lack of institutional control. The only reason why our Browns is not in jail because he had a winning football program in the city of Waco. And let's not let's not kid ourselves. Baylor, his history pro, his program in Baylor, sports wise, is not clean. They've had one of the best basketball players they had killed his friend and tried to hide the body. The town of Waco is not clean. Of course, no school or town is 100% clean. I get that. But this is a small town that just got big. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. Everybody knows everybody. The sheriff knows everybody. You play football, good boy, I'll let you go. That's what Grambling hired. Would you let your daughter go there? Coach Simmons. Good luck, Grambling. I'm out.